obviously this is a special season, but this is something where we finally have another opportunity to beat these guys, which I haven't been able to do in my career yet. So this is something where we've got nothing, nothing left to lose. You know, got to go all out and uh, and don't win. What's different about that? I mean, obviously it's a neutral side game. Do you like the setting? Do you like Jacksonville? What's kind of your take on that? Yeah, Jacksonville. It's it's always been an awesome venue. Um, 50-50. It's really unique environment. Uh, at this point, the grass is always greener, so I, I think it would be interesting to switch it up maybe, but um, it's it's just awesome being down there too. The world lar world's largest tailgate, I know they get a bunch of rowdy fans in there and everybody loves it and uh, we love playing there, so I'd be fine for anything. What happened last year with y'all's ability to get the running game going? I guess one yard, y'all basically averaged a yard a carry. What, I know they're always good up front, but what did kind of happen last year? Honestly, I probably repressed it from my memory. Uh, <laughs> don't remember, try not to remember. Uh, it's a new year, different team, and I think that's what we're trying to focus on. Were you necessarily cognizant that you guys had gone over during your career until Coach Smart asked you guys who's ever won stand up? No, I, I definitely knew it going in. Um, I mean, even before the season, that's something where I was thinking about. I mean, coaches always talk about what, what do you want your legacy to be? You know, what do you want to be against you know, these guys, this team? And um, it's obviously a game where it's like, I've, I've yet to beat these guys in my career. Um, and in terms of the East, I think this is the only team that, that's been like that. So that's something that we've always been thinking about and saying, you know, this is, why not? <laughs> you know, why not us? Why, what, what was that moment like last night? It, it was it just kind of set the tone for the week. It's like, you know, we need to get back to work coming off the bye week. Um, Sometimes it's hard to restart, but once that he said that, it's like, well, it's time to get back in there and get to work. We got a job to do. Jeff, one more about the running game. What have y'all been able to do this year to where y'all are running it more consistent, consistently to where you don't have the dips that you had a couple times last year? I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, plays are essentially the same. It's it's just I think you know, the technique and working at it and uh, being able to have those wrinkles, you know, with the fly motions and that kind of stuff and. I think just tiny little wrinkles here and there, but I think the biggest thing is our passing game. I think people have to respect the pass, and that's what to give success on the ground. Has it helped having a coach who's played in this series, and how much has he just talked about just his experience? Yeah, I mean, it's always good to have them be able to identify with exactly what we're going through, and you know, having been there, but all the coaches have been there once now. Um, and I, I think it's just doesn't matter what field, when or where. I mean, we're just here to play ball, so. I don't think that'll have a huge impact on us. I mean, we're, we're ready to play anywhere. Did you know about what he did in the series back in the 90s? Did you know anything about No, what, what, what was he? Yeah, like two interceptions in the 90s down the game. Did you know anything about uh, No, my football history, I'm, I'm <laughs> terrible, all right? I'm terrible at that, so. <laughs> One other question.